So this is the British Museum. And there is all his scrying tables and the black obsidian mirror. One wonders where he got it. Apparently it was from South America, though I don't believe he went there. I think someone must have given it to him. And this is a little teeny weeny crystal ball. I'm going to see if I can get a better shot of the uh, scrying tablets. So you should be able to see all the symbolism. Let me try it from around here. Oh, that's better. You see the symbolism. So you've got your pentagram, your gematria, the Hebrew letters. Looks like it needs a bit of a polish. They should let me take it out and polish it and see what I can bring up. I can't seem to get the other ones very well. But again, there's the obsidian mirror. So this is what Dee and Dr. Kelly, or Edward Kelly, wasn't the doctor, but Edward Kelly would have been working upon, calling for for their, well, supposed angels and getting the Enochian language. I'm still not sure what to think about it. Whenever people do this kind of thing, at first the angels seem to offer them goodness, and then after a while they start offering weirdness and saying, you have to do this and you have to do that and return for what we've done. And I'm sure many of you know that at one point the angels asked Dr. D and Edward Kelly to have a bit of a swapping wives session one night. So these angels were getting a bit obsessed with sex. Hmm. Were they angels? Fallen spirits? I'm not sure. But one last look. Dr. D's magic. As many of you know, he would have been Queen Elizabeth I's astrologer. Can you see me doing magic? Dr. D's black obsidian mirror calling forth angels and whatever he was calling forth. Can you see me? And there's his balls. And there's his scrying tablet. So part of the symbolism on here is the seal of God, possibly the symbol that Solomon used to control the demons and such like. They said that he used, uh, that Solomon used this symbol to control them and help him make the temple in Jerusalem. But these are also known as shoe stones, seeing stones. And it was Kelly that was the seer, he was the one that was visualizing not visualizing or having visions and talking to whatever it was that was there for him to talk to and it says the golden disc is engraved with the so-called vision of the four castles the black obsidian mirror originally a Mexican Aztec cult object was used for conjuring up the spirits